Hey guys, going on? My name is Josh. I'm from Kane Productions, and I have finally stumbled after like 12 different planets. I've stumbled upon my first irradiated planet. Uh, this one is at 5.4 rads, I think, when I landed on it. But the amazing thing that I, I noticed is like when I got here, there was life all over the place. Um, Sentinels are pretty regular. I've seen a lot of them. And uh, that being said, uh, I can't stay overly long on the planet at a time because of the fact that, uh, like w being too warm or too cold, uh, the radiation does take a toll. But I thought I'd just like show you guys this because I, I feel like if it took me uh, like 12 plus planets to find the first radiated one, um, there's definitely people out there who haven't seen uh, lots of content that is supposedly uh, generated in the game. So I thought I'd just kind of cruise around and, and show you guys what I'm seeing around this planet. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's got a pinky atmosphere kind of tint to it. But I'm not too sure on um, what other things await me here. Let's go ahead and land here and check out the um, sea life, if there's any sea life. Oh, wow! Bonus, we just found a, uh, a base as well. So, and also a, uh, a language tower. Cool. It's pretty cool. Alright, let's try to run over here to the water. Scan some stuff while we walk by. Already discovered that. What's this? These oxides. Whoa! Whoa, whoa! Ocean life, holy shit! What is this? Holy crap. Alright, it's a carnivore, so I probably shouldn't mess with that. Um, that being said, I really want to. Let's, let's, let's pop in the water. I don't understand. Oh! Extreme water radiation. And also the water's going down. Damn. Damn. Extreme water radiation. That's, uh... Whoa! Shit! I didn't even see this guy. Is this a different type, or is he, like, the same... Okay, I'm, I'm not welcome. Oh, let's hop around and check this out. Got a little puddle over here. I, I I think that those animals are aggressive, and that's the idea behind this. But let's check out this. I want to see if there's anything actually like worth swimming around in here. Okay, so scan all this stuff. It's cool. It's just this big thing. I love how you can scan almost everything on planets. The game literally creates so much stuff for you to do. Uh, oh shit! Shit! Might as well get in a little battle for you guys. Out of my, uh, you know, out of the cure generosity of my health, my health. Oh, I killed him, and he gave me iridium. Cool. Can I uh, actually mine his body? No, I can't. All right. So, this is the like I said, guys. This is the first uh, irradiated planet I found. It seems like there's not an abundance of life, but these like worm-like creatures that are flying around, they are the same ones that were. Uh, swimming around so maybe they've just kind of um maybe they've just kind of evolved separate ways oh no shit that was uh not good all right get the therium but yeah guys um there's not really too much stuff to check around when you land in an area uh you can kind of get the gist of of what's on the planet uh like life wise and my jet pack is depleted so that's what's going on all right Let's refuel over here. All we gotta do is I uh, can't refuel. Why? Why can't I refuel? I just gotta get my, get to my ship. Like this is a uh, oh my ship's over there. Okay. Get some zinc on the way. But guys, the game is amazing. Um, I I really do think that if you're into exploration, if you're into um freaking uh basically if if you're somebody who likes good games get this game because it's a freaking good game guys it really is uh, hopefully they can figure out the whole like not seeing each other on planets deal uh I, I really wanted to see my friends on the planets i discovered and the planets that they discovered so it'd be really shitty if uh that's kind of like a permanent thing but i, I really doubt it's that big of an issue i feel like uh they're gonna be able to to patch some stuff in and make it all better. I gotta get to my spaceship though, guys, because I'm, I'm actually starting to uh, regret going so far. Let's, let's just go over to the vehicle and uh, 
basically, let, let's check out that little thing over there. Oh, more flying worms. Look. Jesus. Holy crap. More flying worms. All right. Let's hop in here. And uh, I want to check out this thing over here. I, I don't know if, like, um, it's going to be any different, this little settlement thing. But regardless, it's still cool to check out all this this cool new stuff. I'm not sure. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep that name. That's actually a pretty cool name. Not going to lie. Oh, what's this? A window. There's a window, guys. An opening window. That's cool. So this is the irradiated planet. Keep in mind. So we, we've had some... Something have... Oh, radiation level stabilizing. Yes. Very good. Any any technology in here is always the real question. So what is this? This is a device. So my shield is now at the maximum. Uh, new technology. Yes. Yes, I haven't found that before. Cool. I find a lot of repeated uh, things, unfortunately. I don't know if that's been a common issue for other people. But, yeah, guys, this has been my first look at this irradiated planet. Lots of cool, interesting life forms. Um, everything kind of seems like it, it follows a, a, uh, a pattern, but that's to be expected. Uh, the life forms are cool nonetheless, even though they're, they're similar in ways. They're also very different in ways. There we have our trader. And also, uh, I haven't encountered any space pirates yet, so I guess I'll be doing a bit of gameplay of that once that happens. So if you guys enjoyed this bit of a tour of the irradiated planet with flying worms and little mini lizard things, that's the first time I've seen this guy. What is this, a mouse? But yeah, guys, if you enjoyed this, go ahead and hit the like button. And if there's anything you'd like me to check out in No Man's Sky, just go ahead and leave a... Uh, comment in the uh, section in the comment section below and I'll make sure to check it out for you